Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CE Week in New York City. It's 2014. I'm I jumped you there. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Michael A. That's John P. We're really, I'm just super excited about this. I know. Week. I know. This is an exciting one. We'll just get right into it because we've got Ted from Pioneer here. We, we get him here every year on the show to get all the latest updates. You never fail to uh, uh, um, amaze us with new, I keep thinking every year, okay, this, th that's really cool. You can't take this anywhere further. And then you show up the next year and you guys have one up yourselves. Well, first off, thank you for having us yet again. We love to have you. Um, we really appreciate it. And, and yeah, we're back here in New York at CE Week and we've got the latest connected car thing. All right. Well, so for, for people who uh, may not be entirely familiar, what we're going to talk about is imagine that crappy old stereo that you have in your car not being in your car anymore because you can just go to a custom stereo installer or even like a best buy or something like that and you can buy pioneer gear and yank that out and it's always cheaper than you think it would be so why would you possibly suffer with that old thing you got and a lot of times you can do it yourself i, I can't personally but i know a lot of guys who can and have over the years um, I used to geek always, beaters probably can because they're pretty geeky yeah exactly <laughs> that's that well that's kind of why i brought it up you yeah. know i mean uh, the geek beaters are awesome, and I'll tell you, like, I used to always do this to my car, and it's phenomenal, and uh, I, I'm really excited about this. So this is, you know, app-enabled, works with the iPhone. T take us through this. So three years ago, yeah. actually, talking to Geek Beat, we introduced uh, a product called the App Radio, and the App Radio was significant because it was the first product of its kind to really let the smartphone do all the heavy lifting. You know, network, the processing power, all the applications, everything. And it put a touch screen in your dash that of course still worked as your AM, FM radio, your CD player, play through your car speakers. Um, but it enabled you to use specific smartphone apps in your car. Now we fast forward three years and we've learned a lot. You know, we learned, okay, people don't just want iPhones, they want Android connectivity. They want mirror link connectivity. So we've added a lot of different features over the years. This is actually Pioneer's first kind of foray into the application space. So another thing we heard from a lot of these consumers was they wanted to have a lot of the very pertinent information, you know, mapping information or location-based services, media, which could be like news, weather, um, music, um, audio books or things like that. Um, as well as calendar information, but they wanted it right there at the touch of their fingers in a single app. So what we've done is we put our App Radio Live app, and it actually launched here this week at CE wow. Week, um, and it's already off to a really great start. That's the interface for it right well, there? this is the beginning of the interface. Okay. And, and you can see we've got mapping information. Yeah, I can tell that's a navigation, music. News and calendar. Okay, yep. Um, but when we click on this, now we get into a nice tile-based interface that puts all that information right there oh, at the touch of your button. We've got weather over there in the corner. We've got an event. At 8 p.m. And we can resize any oh, of those screens. Oh, wait. When you touch them, they dynamically resize, exactly. but they don't take the other stuff off the screen. Until you want even more information. And then you tap it again. You oh, tap it again. Like, and you go right and wait. Back. I'm going to guess that that's going to take me back. Right. And then you go straight back in, back and forth. So it's, a, it's, it's really a, snappy, too. It's a really fast, seamless interface. It puts, again, a lot of what the consumers have asked for. But now instead of having, you know, because we're all so used to, even though, you know, it's, it's, it's great, you know, to have so many apps on your phone and so many apps on your tablet. Now, it, instead of having to kind of go out of an app and go into another app to look at, well, what's the weather? Oh, let's, what's the news? What am I listening to? Now you kind of have that to navigate all right and, there at the touch yeah. of your finger. Now you said mirror play. So is that an AirPlay kind of technology where you can play a movie on that or from your phone, whether you have an Android or an iPhone? Yeah, well, it's mirror play. Right, right now for the App Radio Live, what's what's great about this? Before we get to that, is this app is as I mentioned out this week. It's on iOS right now. We're working on the Android version. That should be out a little bit later this year. But what's really great is three years ago we introduced that original App Radio here. This will work on all of those units. Oh. So it's completely backwards compatible for anybody awesome. who's bought an app radio. Wait, you mean if they bought a first gen app radio, <clears throat> they can get the new app. Correct. And get all the same stuff? And get all of this on their radio. Wow. Now um, I guess those older ones maybe might not have the same processing uh, power and stuff of the new ones. So this would be a little snappier. Or it's all done on the it's phone. It's all on the phone. So that's, actually, that's the best part. one of the reasons that's so snappy is because you got a 5S there. Yes. And so. It, 
but it's still very it's it's a fairly lightweight app what's significant about this is we're actually taking you can see we've got content from our iPod but we also have streamed services from internet radio from RDO we're adding other services the weather is coming in from open weather we're bringing in news information and you're charging your phone charging your phone but this is all all of this contents being aggregated in the pioneer cloud and sent down just to this application so it is a fairly lightweight application and so yeah if you have an iPhone 4 and an original app radio or a navigation or a DVD receiver by Pioneer in the last three years, you can download this app for free today, install it on your phone, go out to your vehicle, plug it into your app radio or app radio mode product and get this That's awesome. right now. That's that is awesome. awesome. Well, uh, what a nav is it using? Is it using a Pioneer nav or can you use like the Google nav or the uh, Apple map? So what's what's great about the app radio platform, and, and John knows this because he's, you know, we've been talking about this every year, but the app radio platform actually will support uh, several turn-by-turn -turn navigation Whatever you applications want. What do you like? on the phone. I like Google. Um, and so I like what you Google. can do, Let's use Google. this map is actually the iOS map because we're running sure. on an iPhone. Um, but if you have a destination that you want to go to, you can actually export any of your destinations out to any of those other compatible apps. So awesome. we work with Waze, we work with Motion X GPS Drive, wow. we work with Nav uh, Free. Wait a minute, I, did, I go Primo. I never put that together. You could you could actually be running Waze and could could we be running Waze on the screen right now? Absolutely, and control it. And, and people could like do their little okay, yeah, thumbs up. There was a there was a cop right there, mm -hmm. or wow. you know, a dead you animal in the road, but yeah, or whatever. So, so the app radio platform, all the app radio products will completely run. Uh, a multitude of different applications, and Waze is is one of the turn-by-turn -turn navigation cool. apps that we work with. Wow. So we can actually go there. And I don't think it's so we hadn't opened this yet, so it's going to take a few oh, seconds so it's, to it's launch on the phone. opening up here, and then bang. And now we've got Waze. Oh, on that our is app too radio. sweet. Wow, that's Scott amazing. Scott Cublin would he would love that because all the way here from Dallas, he was on Waze. He's oh. racking up the points so that he can crush everybody else. And, and so you can you can stream a movie to this if you want. It, so so there are some things that you obviously don't want to do when you're driving. Not when you're driving. When yeah. you're driving. So well, I do. Um, there's, there's <laughs> I'm with so you. There's, I'm with I mean, you can give me the whole safety first. Uh, you know, Pioneer doesn't support. That, Pioneer doesn't people. support people doing things that are reckless endangerment of uh, people around them. That's great, but I still want to do it. Look, John, what you do in your NSX is entirely <laughs> up to you. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, th so there is no obviously, you know, we do control um, and work with the app developers to, to make sure that any applications that we put on the dash of the vehicle are safe, are safe and they're relevant to your drive. So, so in other words, you, you still, don't want to enable well, me to endanger others we, is what we, you're we saying. We don't want that either. Okay, no, okay. When I'm standing still, I can watch a movie? Well, so on certain products, um, when you're standing still and the parking brake is set, you can play a, play a DVD movie or you can play a, a, a video file that's on an SD card or a USB. Yes, you can do those things. Which so, means only, you can hack a fuse. Only, only yeah, when you're not emotional. Just got to figure out how to trick it. I will say, before I lose complete <laughs> right, control, right, right. I will say that, that there are some reasons for that, too. I, I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. Yes. I have a Sienna minivan, yeah. and we will actually use an app radio product in the front of our vehicle yeah. um, while playing a DVD movie for the kids in the back yeah. seat. Right. So that's what we call dual zone, and we actually do that quite a so bit. So you can so do that. We'll you use can navigation, dual zone. listen to music, front seat passenger and the driver listen to music, use the navigation, and then in the back seat, our kids are listening to a movie or listening to a movie or headphones and watching it on a I rear love screen. That. Dual um, zone. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hang on a minute now. So we can hook up an external, essentially an external monitor to this. Correct. And this acts as basically a control center, and it will send the movie back there while we're doing other stuff up here? So not this specific product. Okay. But we, we Pioneer makes a range of DVD receivers, navigation, app radio products, and they all have app radio mode. So we, we basically put this... At the ability for this application on every single product we have with a wow. touchscreen. Gotcha. So, yeah, absolutely. Starting at $300, um, we've got wow. product that will play a DVD movie for the backseat passengers. But not with the app radio touchscreen. It, it will. No, it not will. for $300. For $300. $300. See what I mean? It's this ridiculous. Is crazy. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, here's what I want to know. Yeah. How, what, if I buy that one, Yes. how crazy can I take it with the accessories? I want everything in my car. What all can we hook up to this? Well, of course, you, you've you got all of the, the Of the course, we can do amps. You can think of. of course, so I can have amps, like a 18 speakers, inch subwoofer. All of that, of course, okay. in your NSX. In my in NSX. The passenger right. seat. Yeah, well, so. yeah, it's got to go somewhere. <laughs> Passengers are not important. we got to fly in here. So, 
So yeah, of course you can you can do all of the normal audio accessories. Pioneer, you know, started 76 sure. years ago as an audio company, a speaker company, so you can do all of that. Um, but of course, lately now, satellite radio is important. Um, you can hook up a phone, and it, we do work with iPhone. We work with Android, so you can stream music in, internet radio, that kind of thing. Um, of course, safety is a big thing right now, so rear cameras. Excellent. Yes, um, you can do that. Important. Put that the, the vehicle in reverse, and you get, get that, that rear get that camera. On there. Um, as well as a variety of other you know things. You know, TV all of our back. products that have uh, uh, Bluetooth, Is and G really that's the majority of them yeah. now. All come with an external microphone in the box. Excellent. Oh, nice! Can you do a Bluetooth streaming audio? Yes, you can. Excellent. All right, yep. so we got to go. Everything, everything. You just get everything. This in is that. phenomenal. It's phenomenal. We got to wrap, but I have one last thing is a lot of people who lease cars today and they have a one DIN or some kind of crazy looking configuration. Mm -hmm. Most people don't realize you can take that off and buy a custom solution that goes in, use this device, and it, those aren't expensive. Save that piece, pull it back out, put it back together for return your lease. It's a, it's a great point. So so you absolutely can. There's a lot of companies that make the, the physical parts to put yep. in your dash. And then a the last point, you know, really going to what you were saying, John, at the start, is the average age of the vehicle on the road today is about 11 years. Yeah. Um, it's 220 million registered vehicles wow. on the road in the United States. And, you know, look, not all of us, uh, all of us included, we can't run out and buy a new car every time technology changes. So, you know, part of this why we come and talk to you guys every year here is because Pioneer wants to make sure that you can still get that latest technology in that connected car, even for the vehicle that you're driving, even if it's not a new one. You right. don't need to spend $50,000 when you can spend $500 yeah. and, and update your and car. put that in your Jetta. Your cars, exactly. there's nothing wrong with your car, right? except you don't have Bluetooth, you don't have this other junk. Just get it. Yeah. Just uh, get it. You could have 200,000 miles on your Subaru and that. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, I love this. Appreciate it. I love the it. price point. Thank you so much. Oh, this is Geek you. Beat Live from CE Week here in New York City. Alongside John P. I'm Michael A. Michael A. You guys stick around. We've got continuing coverage coming out of New York here. Thumbs up on YouTube, and we'll see you later.